Did you know that a 20-year-old native English speaker knows about 42,000 words? Sounds crazy, right? But don't worry. You don't need to learn that much words to communicate fluently. With only 3,000 words, you can handle most daily conversations with ease. Exactly. And if that sounds impossible to you, don't worry. With the right strategies, learning new words can be fun, easy and effective. One of the most important rules for language learners is the 95 by 5 rule. What does it mean? Well, 95% of everyday conversations consist of just 5% of the entire language's vocabulary. Think about it. Native speakers just use 2,000 to 3,000 words in their everyday conversations. These are the words you need to focus on when you start learning. Words like the, is, to, have, be are the high frequency words and these make up the backbone of English. So once you learn this core vocabulary, you are already 95% there. So how do you actually learn these words? Let me break it down for you. Don't overwhelm yourself and try to learn 20 words a day. Instead, focus on one word. Remember, it's one word at a time. Pick a word. Learn its meaning. Understand the pronunciation. Try to use it in different contexts. Use it in a sentence. For example, if you have learned a word essential, try to know the meaning. It means something really important and then use it in a sentence. Water is essential for life. Once you are done, go ahead with the next word. Let's try out another word. Serendipity. Serendipity. This means to find something good without even looking for it. For example, finding my lost keys was pure serendipity. Here's another word. Meticulous. Meticulous. This means to show great attention to detail. For example, she was meticulous in organizing her files. Next up, we have resilient. Resilient. This means being able to recover quickly from difficulties. You could say, she's very resilient, bouncing back after every setback. See, the key is not just to know the meaning, but also to put it in your sentences, use it in your daily conversations. The more you'll engage with a word, the better you will remember it. Well, here's a quick quiz to test your vocabulary skills. I want to see how many of you know these words. So what I'm going to do is to share the meanings of those words and you have to guess the word. Let's see how many of you get the words correctly. What's a word that means a feeling of deep regret when you've done something wrong? Come on, guess. I'm going to give you some time. Okay. We'll see the next one. What would describe someone who is quick to recover from difficulties or setbacks? I know you know this because we have already discussed it. Now, the next one. What's the term for the person who talks a lot but often says nothing important? Do you have the answers ready? Were you able to guess the words? Okay, let me help you. The answers are here. Remorse. Resilient. Blah, blah, blah. How many did you get right? See, quizzes like this are a fun way to challenge yourself and check how well you are retaining new words. You can find interactive quizzes online or even apps that test your vocabulary and knowledge. So the more you test yourself, the more those words will stick in your mind. Tip number three would be to use social media like Instagram and Twitter to learn vocabulary in a fun and casual way. These platforms have become gold mines for learning vocabulary. Here's how you can use it effectively. Follow accounts that post simple yet meaningful words and their usage. For example, every day when you scroll, try to learn at least one word. Make sure you also look at how the word is used in context because understanding how it fits into a sentence is just as important as its definition. Even better, leave a comment using the word. When you engage with the content by writing or speaking, you will memorize the word faster. Next up is getting familiar with high utility words. Those words that show up 
in various contexts and different situations. Let me give you a few examples. Significant. It means something important or large enough to be noticed. For example, there was a significant increase in sales this year. Consequence. Consequence. This means the result of an action, often something negative. You might hear, there are consequences to every decision you make. Assess, meaning to evaluate or estimate the nature, ability or quality of something. For example, we need to assess the damage after the storm. Benefit, something positive or an advantage gained from something. For instance, a good diet has multiple health benefits. Implement. To put a plan or decision into action. You could say, the company plans to implement new policies next month. I've made some of those videos to help you learn high utility words and phrases and how to use them correctly in sentences so you can sound confident when you speak English. Do definitely check these out because learning these words will help you understand a wide variety of texts and conversations. Finally, let's talk about building a vocabulary practice plan. A structured approach will help you stay consistent and avoid the frustration of forgetting what you have learned. Here's an example of a weekly plan. We'll start from day one. Learn five new words, write their definitions and use them in sentences. Day two, review the words and try using them in conversations. Day three, Write a short story or a journal using those words. Day 4. Test yourself by writing the words from memory and checking their definitions. Day 5. Have a conversation with a friend and try to use two or three of those words naturally. Day 6. Create flashcards or try to keep them as passwords of your systems. Day 7. Reflect on what you have done and move forward with another set of words. Revisiting those words frequently and using them in multiple contexts helps transfer them from your short-term memory to your long-term memory. You can start with my videos where I have shared some high utility words which can help you to sound like a native. And do let me know in the comments which words you have learned in the first week. If you found these tips helpful, don't forget to give it a like. And subscribe this channel for more such amazing English learning tips. Thanks for watching everyone and I'll see you again very soon in my next video.